What's up guys, Chris here again with a quick update on the SAI Glock 19. Uh, if you watch the, um, the video where I had completed the build, I showed you that there was a bit of an issue with the... Um, I'm sorry, let me just go ahead and take this out. With the slide release that it uh, I wasn't able to push that down because the slide lock cutout was kind of straight and it was almost angled forward like that so I, it was really difficult to push that down uh, I went in with the file and uh, angled it a little bit slightly backwards and voila now it's uh, working no problem one thing I noticed here is that, take a look at the close-up when the uh, slide lock engages. You can see that it kind of goes not all the way up, uh, which is kind of good because all the way at the top, I think you can see there's a little bit of indentation right there from where the slide lock kind of ate into the cutout uh, from my, when I previously uh, used it. Could also be that when I used the file, I kind of might have eaten away a little bit of that space. Uh, not a big deal. As you can see right here, it works now. So that's a quick fix. Uh, kind of unfortunate that you, you have to do that, but uh, that's the kind of thing that happens. Uh, what else did I do? Well, uh, in in my uh, unboxing and uh, build video, I told you I didn't like the back straps. Well, I'm gonna have to take that back and change my mind because the medium is actually really nice. It gives a little bit extra depth here for your trigger finger, so it feels feels a little bit more comfortable for me. I uh, might still experiment a little back and forth because it's kind of, you know, just a tiny bit too thick compared to no back strap. So I'll have to uh, play around with that and see what I decide on. Now, the, the second thing in this update video is I found a problem with the kit. Uh, it's not consistent. You saw uh, in my build video that I fired it, I racked it, no problems. However, since then, uh, right, I have to put this back in to demonstrate one second. Well, of course, it's not happening, but I'm going to show it. Hmm. <laughs> That's so typical. Uh, anyway, let me explain it to you. What happened was when I racked the slide back and uh, I've uh, kept the uh, dry firing plug in place to not wear out the slide cut in the slide. Or, uh, I'm sorry, slide um, cut. Uh, what happened was that the gun would jam in this position. And that was because the outer barrel, let's see if I can simulate it. If I pull the outer barrel forward, it kind of locks into place like this. You can see the slide release is not touching. And what I found is if I just tap the front of the barrel, it, it gets loose. And you can also see right here that we have some marks from where it's getting stuck. So my theory is, okay, there it happened, there we go. So that's the position it gets stuck in. You can also, you can physically see it where it's touching. And all you have to do is gentle tap at the front and it comes loose. Um, like I said in the, um, after I had installed this, the inner barrel and outer barrel was a very snug fit. I think that's related to this issue. The other thing that I think might be relevant is if you look at the slide to frame gap here, if I push it down on the slide, it gets a lot tighter. So I'm not sure if 
you know, if the slide is in the up position or all the way down, it will make sense if it's in the, yeah, if I push the slide up when I rack it, it gets stuck. If I push down on it, yeah, that totally makes sense. So look here, racking it, pushing downwards, no problem. Racket pulling upwards, gets stuck. So, um, let me take it apart. Whoop. Like I said, with the inner and outer barrel, if you look at when it's in this position, it's very, it doesn't move freely. I initially thought it was the hop-up housing getting stuck in this section. However, I just realized before recording this video that it's the stabilizing o-ring in the front of the outer barrel that's causing this. If I take it out, push it in, right there it's making contact with the o-ring. Before that, there's a good amount of rattle and play in here. Get it in the o-ring and it sticks. So my thinking is that due to the lack of play in this piece, uh, I think more it's back and forth rather than up and down, uh, that that might be sort of causing the problem. So two ways of fix fixing that. You could, um, yeah, I don't think we can get any light on that, but you could try and remove the O-ring in here which I probably wouldn't recommend because it's a good feature to have it stabilizing the inner barrel. The other thing you could do is just very likely a little bit of a time sand down the outer barrel until it uh, moves a little bit more freely. Possibly um, another way of doing it is just adding a little bit of silicone oil to the outer barrel so that when it goes into the o-ring uh, there's less friction. So uh, let's take a look. That's actually, it, you know, it might not have as much to do with that as the up and down play of the slide. Let's put it back together and take another look. This is another thing with the Glocks. Uh, I've never seen people struggle with it on real ones, but on Airsoft Glocks, you have to have the guide rod exactly in the right position for it to, to go on properly. So let's take a look. Push the slide down. You can see there that it's, it's basically sitting on the frame. Pull it up, get maybe quarter to half a millimeter of play there. Rack it back, pushing down so the gap is gone. No problem. Rack it back, pulling up. Hmm. So again, th this doesn't seem to be consistent. Um, it just has me wondering. I mean, I'm pulling all the way up there. It doesn't happen. However, if I pull up and push the or uh, pull the outer barrel forward. It sticks so that's what's making me think that the uh, the lack of play in inner and outer barrel is causing the in out oh, outer barrel to not move in the correct position for this to run freely so that's just a little bit of information uh, since I am going to be putting in a black standard W barrel I'm not uh, going to put too much effort into this since you know it fired just fine when I used it. It um, right now I can't replicate it. And um, let's see if I if I push the barrel. Yeah, it seems to be. Oh, I'm sorry. We got what's happening. Focus. <laughs> um, it does seem to have a little bit of free play there. So anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know about that issue if you run into it. Uh, that's what I found out about it so far. So otherwise, I'm still very happy with it. Uh, I haven't fired it since the, the last video, but I've 
Uh, obviously, what do you do when you have a new gun? Well, you just sit like this for uh, hours on end to, just to get a feel for the pistol, break in the slide and whatnot. Um, also, uh, I think I pointed this out in, in the first video, but I'm really happy that the Garter uh, custom magazines worked as well as they did because most people, if you're, if you're just going to play with your gun, you don't care about looks. Don't bother wasting your money in this. It's not a performance upgrade. It's just for looks. So, but I, I like that. That's nice. So yeah, that's the uh, update on the Glock. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.